The Honourable Rajnath Singh, Minister for Home Affairs. Uh, the Honourable Nimala Sitaraman, Minister, Independent Charge for Commerce and Industry. And the Honourable Kiran Rijiju, Minister of State for Home Affairs. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's really an honour for me to have this opportunity to say a few words at the outset of the National Workshop uh, on Enforcement and Intellectual Property. It's also a very great pleasure because it's part of the ever-strengthening relationship between the World Intellectual Property and the Government of India, of which we at the World Intellectual Property are extremely proud. In recent years, India has taken a number of, uh, I would say, uh, groundbreaking initiatives, both at the national and the international uh, levels in the area of intellectual property. These initiatives have been aimed <coughs> at creating an empowering environment for intellectual property in order to support in particular the Prime Minister's initiatives for making India, Digital India and Startup India. For intellectual property to be an empowering mechanism, it has to provide business and industry with the tools to enable them to convert the fabled intellectual and cultural richness of India into economic wealth. Uh, it also has to provide the tools to enable industry and commerce to prevent unfair and predatory practices that deprive creators and innovators and entrepreneurs of this possibility of converting the intellectual and cultural richness of India into commercial assets, into economic wealth. All this is part of a fair, balanced and effective intellectual property system. We're absolutely delighted uh, to learn that the National Workshop is taking place. The presence of three dis such distinguished ministers indicates that intellectual property is taken seriously and attention is paid to intellectual property at the highest level of uh, the Indian government. It also is an indication uh, that this is a whole of government approach with the executive, the legislative and the judicial and enforcement branches of government all coming together to discuss this extremely important topic. I wish you uh, all extremely good uh, deliberations and we truly hope that this will be another contribution that intellectual property can make to the policy of the Government of India and in particular to the creation of New India by 2022. Thank you once again for this opportunity to say a few words.